Hello friends, welcome to MATLAB School. In this video, we are going to simulate the BLTC motor powered electric vehicle with a drive cycle and driver model. Uh, the same model is available for a download in the link given in the description. If you want, you can download it and you can use it for your purpose. So let us get into the simulation part. So this is the model uh, that we are going to simulate. I have started the simulation already. So uh, let me uh, explain you all the things present inside this uh, model. So here we have a BLDC motor. See this BLDC motor uh, has three phases and the back EMF is trapezoidal because uh, this is a uh, BLDC motor. We need to give trapezoidal uh, as the back EMF waveform and uh, here we have a mechanical input. So the, the mechanical input we are uh, using mechanical rotational port as input. We have the provision to uh, have torque or speed as uh, input as well. Only if we give mechanical rotational port as input, we can connect uh, this electric vehicle, I mean this electric vehicle and this uh, transmission system. So uh, here we have the uh, vehicle body and these are the wheels that we have in the vehicle left uh, rear left front right rear and right front and this vehicle this motor is powered by this lithium ion battery and here we have an universal bridge so in this universal bridge i am using igbt and diode uh, so to form six phases I mean three uh, phases with six switches and for this inverter we are giving the gates from the previous block okay so from here we are getting the pulses so these pulses six pulses are being generated from this hysteresis controller so, so hysteresis controller is nothing but a bang bang controller uh, this bang bang controller or hysteresis controller gets uh, gets its input uh, from the uh, difference in error between the actual current and the reference current so this forms the actual current and here we are having the uh, reference current so this reference current is coming from the previous calculation uh, and the direction of the current is being uh, judged by the uh, Hall sensors position I mean uh, the rotor position that we are getting from the Hall sensor so this control uh, logic will give the position of the uh, rotor thereby we are uh, we are uh, selecting the direction of the current and it will be multiplied with the reference current magnitude of uh, reference current and uh, here we have the driver model so in the driver model we have acceleration command as well as the deceleration command in the acceleration command uh, i mean the acceleration command used to be in between the range of 0 and 1 so it has to be multiplied with the corresponding uh, range of current and in the deceleration command we have uh, the braking so uh, this will be connected to the brake pedal so as you can see this is a deceleration command and this deceleration command is connected to the brake pedal okay and the input to the driver model input to the driver model is coming from the drive cycle so here the drive cycle uh, we have different inputs I see the drive cycle that I have chosen is Japanese 10 mode if you click this when it is normal mode now it is running so we cannot click that um, in normal mode we can uh, select any drive cycle we have any DC WLTP like that we have so many number of drive cycles uh, each and every country will have its own drive cycle to test their vehicles capacity and efficiency uh, in their own uh, road conditions so uh, the drive cycle I have chosen here is Japanese 10 mode drive cycle. 
So this is the transmission system. Transmission is, uh, is the gear system that we have in the uh, uh, vehicle because uh, if you take a, a, a regular car, you can see the engine getting linked to the vehicle by means of a transmission system. Like the same way, in most of the cars, uh, there's a transmission system which links the motor with the wheels. So uh, here also we have a, a simple gear system. Um, yes. So uh, we are using a teeth ratio of three. And these are the uh, inertia, inertia at the front side of the teeth and uh, the inertia of the other one. And here we have the torque sensor uh, to sense the torque which is required by the motor. Okay, so it is expected for, uh, from the motor that it uh, it follows the drive cycle keenly, so that we'll be getting a pattern mm -hmm. like this. Okay. Let us open the scope. Yes. Also, as you can see, for the initial duration of time, initially uh, we have a flat surface, so uh, the speed at that flat, flat surface is zero. So the speed is starting to raise at the twentieth second. So as you can see, uh, the speed gradually increases. So here the acceleration happens uh, uh, smoothly at a particular uh, slope. And uh, there is a flat surface here. And after the flat surface, there is one deceleration. As you can see, uh, there is one deceleration here as well. So here the yellow line corresponds to the reference uh, speed and the blue one corresponds to the actual speed which which the vehicle is running and this is the current and this is the tar produced by the motor okay so for our better understanding let us uh, zoom this part of the current waveform yes so as i told you this yellow line is the reference current and the blue one is the uh, actual speed <clears throat> and here we have the current so during the time of starting during the time of acceleration as you can see the torque requirement is high <clears throat> so uh, the current drawn by the motor will also be high and here we have the torque uh, the torque initial torque is around 80 and once the speed reaches the flat surface uh, the torque is coming down Also, during the uh, deceleration time also, you can see the, uh, the re reduction in torque as well as the reduction in speed, I mean uh, uh, current. So, let us see the uh, corresponding Uh, parameters of the battery so we, here we can see SOC current as well as the voltage uh, of the battery yes so here we are getting some noises so uh, as you can see the SOC of the battery is uh, getting reduced uh, as this vehicle speed increases let us see the braking yes so this is the braking pattern which is applied to the vehicle during the time of deceleration so this is happening only during the time of deceleration this braking force uh, is in terms of 
uh, newtons so the breaking force is around uh, 1000 newtons so uh, the breaking command is uh, given by the longitudinal driver that we have here and here we have the acceleration command acceleration command uh, becomes the reference current okay so uh, this model is available for a download the link given in the description if you want you can uh, download it and you can use it for your purpose please uh, share our share our channel to your friends uh, please press the like button also the bell button then only you will be getting the notification whenever we uh, publish a video thanks again